South Korea's National Assembly Speaker Chung Se-gyun is wrapping up a three-day visit to Japan. Today, on his last day there, he met with the members of a bilateral union of parliamentarians and agreed to strengthen the strategic partnership between Seoul and Tokyo. Oh Jung-hee has more. Parliament's members of Korea and Japan agreed to develop bilateral ties and work more closely together in the future. Korea's National Assembly Speaker Chung se gyun met with Japanese leaders of the Korea-Japan Parliamentarians Union on Friday, the last day of his three-day visit to Japan. Chung said through his visit, the two countries agreed on the need for their relationship to be forward-looking and mature, and that they should strengthen their strategic partnership. He emphasized that the parliamentarians' union has been playing and needs to continue to play a key role in leading dialogue and cooperation between the two parliaments. In response, Fukushiro Nukaga, head of the union, said he welcomes the new administration in Korea and was impressed by the early efforts made by the Moon administration, including phone calls and sending a special envoy to Japan. He showed his hope that the two countries will work together in the future, mentioning that they have a long history of resolving difficult issues through dialogue. During his visit to Japan, Chung met with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and leaders of the National Diet to discuss bilateral ties. He said during the last four years, bilateral ties have worsened due to historical issues and the Tokyo Island dispute, but stressed the two countries should make an effort to work together as their economies, cultures and foreign policies are inextricably linked. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.